NBC3 Sports is sponsored by Graves Brothers Home Improvement. Welcome back into the news at 11. I'm Tommy Sladak. Here's the scoop on SU men's hoops. Do they make the tournament if the season ends today? The answer is no. Do they make the tournament with a win over Clemson tomorrow night? And to be safe, a nice showing in the ACC tournament next week? My gut and guess say yes. Now, even if SU loses to Clemson, there's, there's still a road to get to the bubble. That just means a, you know, bigger run in the ACC tournament. What can really bite SU is how much the committee uses the formulas and analytics because the Orange are the unfortunate poster child of how these metrics can really hurt a team's chances. But you cannot deny and ignore that the Orange is playing its best basketball of the season. They've won five of their last six. And through the ups and downs, head coach Adrian Autry says his team, they do a great job of taking this season one game at a time. This team is really... Um, kind of blocked out the noise, um, good or bad, um, and just kind of approach every game and approach it to win the game and not letting anything linger over from the past game. And with this season hanging in the balance, talk about a poetic finale for the Orange to be taking on Joe Girard III and Clemson. The Tigers got the best of the Orange at the Dome last month. It's their, their turn to take one, ESPN2 tomorrow night. And what a difference a week makes if you're – the Orange. Last Monday, they were in eighth place, but the teams ahead of them were losing, SU winning, and all of a sudden, they're up to number four, and that's a spot they want to keep because they would get a double buy in the conference tournament. Speaking of double buys, SU women's hoops. They're giving a wave goodbye to the regular season and a nice smirk to the voters because they were projected to finish ninth, and Felicia Legat Jack's team has secured the three seed in this week's ACC tournament. Take that. SU earns a double bye. That's an express pass to the quarterfinals. The tournament starts later this week in Greensboro. They are ranked 20th in the AP poll this week and are projected a five seed in the big dance. So do they still have something to play for? Yes, because the top four seeds in each region on the women's side can host in the first two rounds. So a win over a good team this week could bump SU into home territory. First game slated for 7.30 Friday night. We'll be finding out their win. When their their winner. They're, we'll be finding out their opponent later this week. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah well, it. Another home game or two would be just oh, fantastic. Man. Electric, I, I think the fans would really support the team. Pete's yeah. been a big supporter all season yeah. long, actually. That would be great if they can get some home games. But listen, one game at a time, as they always say, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, mm -hmm. it starts tomorrow with SU Clemson. Talk about I mean, that is just the fitting, right? All right, quick look at the seven-day. So the best chance of the wettest weather most often is east and southeast. Not that far away, by the way. We're going to go around 60 Syracuse with a chance of some rain probably around midday if it happens. Otherwise, wetter more often Wednesday. Matt. Only 60 tomorrow? Come on. <laughs> That's NBC3 News at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Mulcahy. Have a great night. We'll see you later on.